So I have to catch my PB this year on the uh, Strike King Sexy Dog. Thought I'd get a thrash this morning when we first got here. There's a lot more water in the river than what there usually is. I had the big floods recently. So I'll put the Sexy Dog straight on and on my second cast caught a probably 44 centimetre perch. Great fish right off the top. I always like to keep the Sexy Dog on me. At, uh, at any time, we often on the river we see perch feeding and that's what happened this morning. You hear them usually before you see them but whenever I do I just throw it straight into them. It's a really easy lure to use, I just literally twitch the rod, I literally every turn of the reel, half a turn, twitch the rod, go really fast until you start seeing the perch chasing it. If they don't commit straight away, I just tend to slow it down a little bit and help them hit it. So if you haven't tried surface fishing before, I'd really recommend it. They caught my PB on it this summer. And, uh, and I'm sure you'll get a good fish on it as well. So after some early success on the surface lures today, I thought I'd swap over to, a, to Strike King Lucky Shad. It's the first time I've used one today, but I thought they were a great looking lure and couldn't wait to try one. And the perch are really having it. They've been coming up in the water, we've been chasing the cranks. We really struggled to get them on anything else and the crankbaits have been invaluable today. So I'll definitely be using this more. So in terms of technique today with the Lucky Shad, we've just been casting generally shallower around structure driving the lures down quick and either just running them through really fast or just fishing them on a couple of twitches and waiting for the bites in between the pauses. So crankbait fishing is certainly something I've been wanting to do more of and, um, and I'll be chucking these a lot, more, a lot more frequently on the river. Well, that's one at least <laughs> to start. Slick shad and hot olive, nine centimetre. So the Xander have been quite tough today, but at least they've been on the feed a little bit. And um, we'll be catching mainly on the slick shads and um, we're using both natural and bright colours. Um, caught them on jig heads and, uh, and later on the drop shot. So a mix of things really, but they've definitely wanted it slow. The slick shad's a great finesse bait. You can slow it right down on a jig head and fish it super light or even on the drop shot, due to the small tail, it doesn't pull much water, so you can fish it right out in the fast water and just hold it there. And the Xander will just come up and just take them. Come here. Oh, that's a nice start. Well, that's certainly a better one. On the drop shot. Stunning fish. There we go, that's a better one. But yeah, definitely a great bait. I've been catching a lot of fish on the slick shads this season. Perch, pike, and zander. Oh, you. <laughs> Good. Come off on the uh, drop shot. Yeah. Well, can't get them all. And that was in the in the faster flow. Yeah, it was in the far flowing water. Yeah. Really small though, but um, had a took it. So for an even more finesse presentation, we've been fishing the slick finesse. Um, these are really good in the flowing water, obviously, because they don't pull any water at all. So there's no resistance on the tail. You can fish them in the faster areas or you can just fish them much lighter. And um, they're a great bait to fish vertical, even in the river, and also casting if need be. So coming out today, we were just trying to catch some perch and zander. Obviously the perch are feeding really well this morning, so we started getting them on the surface. They soon shied off of that, so we went to the cranks, and the cranks really, really worked for the perch today. We fished them fast, and they were just having it. The Xander were a complete different story. They really slowed off, and we had to go really finesse for them. So we fished like the slick finesse and the slick shad, swapped over to drop shot eventually, and that's seemed to be the key, and we managed to get them. 
So really when we come out on the river, we're just adapting to any situation really. We're going to try different loads and keep mixing it up, change speeds, change techniques and just, just find something that's working on the day.